I am so excited that you are going to be doing an emotion code session with me. In order to prepare for the session, just a couple things I wanted to let you know. So with the emotion code, I connect to you subconsciously on an energetic level. I won't be able to read your mind, but we'll be able to test the energy subtleties where I do muscle testing. So you'll see me moving my fingers a lot. And that's how I can test if your subconscious is telling me yes or no. And so from there, I'll be able to essentially check if your subconscious is saying that there's a trapped emotion in column A, or if the trapped emotion is in column B, the odd or even rows. And so essentially narrowing it down through process of elimination to what the specific trapped emotion is. And when we do that, we can see what age the trapped emotion occurred. We can see what's it in relation to. So it really depends. One, we ask the subconscious if there's more information we need to know. But two, if you have a curiosity on different areas, we can dig in or we can do more of just a, a rapid clearing. And so we typically move between five to 10 trapped emotions in one session. I've seen really wonderful results of clients feeling lighter, feeling more creativity, unstuck, uh, better connections with their romantic partners or their spouse, better connections with their friends and community as well as getting unstuck at work. So there are so many different ways that we can use this and we can ask the subconscious to release whatever is top of mind, most important, or we can focus on a specific challenge or goal. So you can have that in mind coming into the session. Um, you can of course change it at any point. We can, we can do a couple of releases on the general and a couple of releases on the challenge or the goal as well. So lots of fun creative ways that we can we can use this for and i've typically seen several sessions uh, really make the the best result and so the impact could be really strong from the first session or it might take a couple sessions so it really depends on what's ready to move where you are in your journey where you are in the process so i just want to give a heads up on that and also just a recommendation to please drink water before the session to hydrate. It just helps with the, the release of, of the trapped emotion. For the trapped emotion release, I'll have you do a couple big deep breaths, but there's not really anything specific that you need to do. I'll be doing the clearing on, on my end. So just coming with an open mind, an open heart, and a curiosity of what we can uncover. I'm really looking forward to working with you, and I'll see you soon.